Good day, tubes. How's it going, eh? So, um, I'm just doing an iPhone video thingy here right now because I'm too lazy to go up to the house right now and get my other camera and stuff. And, you know, uh, just, uh, yeah, so. But, uh, freaking beauty day today. You know, yesterday was like 31 degrees or something with the Humidex. That sucked. But then, boom, we had this uh, sort of slunt, uh, thunderstorm come through and some rain, and it dropped from like 30 degrees right down to 19. <laughs> it was 12 degrees last night, like overnight kind of thing. So, but um, anyway, so yeah, she's uh, she's only about 16 right now, so it's a little bit more nicer. Uh, no humidity, which I hate that humidity because it just sticks to you like glue, right? So, oh frig, see that big tree way over there, that dead one? Uh, straight ahead there. Looks like we're gonna have to take that one out. Looks like she died. Most of it's all browned out. But anyways, today I'm doing uh, what they call uh, placing in the cornerstones. So that's all plots that we've sold since about last fall, I guess. And uh, I keep a record -y thingy of them here in the book. I'll show you. Uh, cornerstone order book. So all these cornerstones are all stuff that I've done since I've been here. So anyways, uh, we're gonna start... Hmm. We're gonna start here and uh, I usually go by what's in what section, you know, so we've got two on the woodland hilltop there and uh, St. Timothy and then there's another bit over here, so there's some another woodland annex there and then some St. Timothy's, one Campbellville Campbellville and then uh, Forest Range baby section. So, and then these other ones here are ones I haven't ordered yet. But anyways, let's start maybe going back here to, uh, we'll do these St. Timothy's ones here first maybe and then uh, get rid of them. So now i got to go and find this, uh, I put like name stakes up too, right, so it's a bit easier to find, but there's Duong, I think there were Chinese people in uh, St. Timothy's and they're lot number 129A, so hopefully in here we've got a stone that says Duong. Uh, you guys, there it is, Duong, and 129A, was it? Man, my memory's good, but it's freaking short, oh crap. Yeah, 129A, so there's a 129A there, so let's uh, head her back and uh, see if we can find this Duong 129A. Okay, so I already kind of know where this one was, or is, uh, just because, you know, some of them for some reason you can remember and some of them I can't, but let's uh, get over here and see, uh, wow, they got some weeds growing there, that's the fresh topsoil, always grows the mustard seed and crap in it, eh? But, uh... So yeah, there's the Duongs there, and they owned it here, I don't know if that's coming out, but then there's another plot next door here that they bought one very good, so uh, shut her off here, yeah, we'll, we'll yank all those freaking weeds out and stuff there, that's mushroom, or mushroom, <laughs> mustard plant, they call that, so freaking seeds are in everything, you know, you think you got nice good clean topsoil, and it's not, so anyways, let's first get, uh, uh, Duong out. We'll get that one out. Another 129A. Get him out. So, see now this, uh, I think it was this one here. It was 129, yeah. So that's a 129, so that's just like an additional, so I made that an A number. So, uh, yeah, see there's 128 and 127, you know, on and on and on, right? So, we'll get um, these kind of roughly in where they should be, and I do believe, double check our book, whoa Nelly, they only have a single here, one grave, yeah, so there it says, uh, sorry, one grave, do on, St. Timothy's 129A, so what I do for that is, um, Get her rough. Get her rough. And then get my tape out here. My measuring tape. 
And uh, each plot is three feet, but I leave an extra three inches. Just because, you know, if you're burying a vault or something, if you just put a bang on three feet, you're not leaving yourself much room. So, start up there. So yeah, see we gotta come out a wee bit. So we'll just come out to about there. Three foot two, three foot three. Roughly rare. So yeah, now what I gotta do is uh, make sure she's uh, kind of in line with the row. You know, the row's over this to the right a bit more, so. But, uh, well, look at all we can do. Those ones don't seem to be quite right there, but you also got to measure down from the back side of the foundation from there to the end of the stone. So there should be around 10 feet. And then we leave an extra couple of feet there for like a walkway, right? So a row is actually 12 feet. So the very back, say where my mower deck is here, is where the next row will start. And then the next foundation will be about there. Maybe down a wee bit more, but you know, you get the idea. So. But, uh, yeah, this row's gone a little wonky. Or really, no, it's not bad. This uh, 129A just has to come in a bit. So somewhere like that. Just knock that back in and, uh, yeah, it's a little more better. So, uh, yeah, now all we do is uh, get our specially manufactured spade. As you can see, the extra piece cut out of her. It's been welded a few times too, because you know, I honk on her a bit too hard sometimes. And uh, just have to spade around these guys, you know, like the square spade cut. <clears throat> Pull out that little chunk of dirt, make sure she's gonna sit level and stuff her in. Now, how am I gonna show you that? Frig, I don't have anything to put my camera thing on here. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll just have to do it, I guess, and then show you after. I don't really have a tripod or nothing for my iPhone here, so here we go. And there we go, something, something sort of like that. Holy frig, except I put that one in the wrong way. I like to have these pointing towards their plots, right? So, this freaking huge rock I picked up out of here. Holy crap, it was just barely under the surface. So, that's nice. But, uh, anyways, that's one done. Better not forget that. Now we just go in our book here and uh, find that plot, Duong, and just do a couple of checky marks here, checky checky, and that one's done. Okay, so this one's a bit different. I've got two two plots here, and then uh, right beside they have another single plot. So I got to dig like a two holer thing there and. Uh, just a single grave there, right? So, already got that guy sunk. But, uh, I'm gonna try. Alright, apologize. I don't know if this is gonna work, tubes. I wanna kinda set that up so you can see. No, that's not gonna work. Crap. How about you laying it up here, maybe? And there we go, something like that. And they'll settle in a bit themselves too, and you know, grass will go over and you'll never find them again. So, freaking right, we'll get that one in and then we'll move on.
Well, we got that section done, and uh, we're just back here with our uh, freaking McCafe, just uh, observing the lake and stuff. And uh, you can sure see how much I opened up, eh? Freaking right. A few more I want to take out, but that's a big secret. Not supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was actually down. Uh, show you. I pulled all these out of the freaking water with the thumb and stuff, and man, I got down. Some pretty deep area here, and just about looking lost a tractor. And there's a big snapping turtle right there. Holy frig, that scared that poop right out of me. He must be up here laying his eggs or something. Holy, that's a big, big guy. Big guy. Should we uh, see if he'll bite a stick? Here, we'll get a nice little stick here and uh, see what he, see what he's gonna do with the stick. Hey buddy, come on, I'm ticking you off. Bite a stick. Bite a stick. Oh, it feels weird. Ooh, he doesn't like that much. Look at the slime on him, eh? Hey buddy. You know, you're a big fella, aren't ya? You just making out that I'm not here. Oh, it's all right. Oh, there you go. Sounds hollow. I didn't like that too much either. Come on, bite a stick. I gotta get you mad. Got a little beak on him right there, I can feel it. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Anyways, he's just grumpy. Look at these stupid things already starting to grow away. Holy jumping. I'm gonna have to get down here and shred them all up again, I guess. But yeah, anyways, I got down in here with the tractor and I didn't think it was this soft, but uh, I must have yanked a tree stump out of here or something, but it was freaking scary, Tubes. I'll tell you, but, you know, there's a few more I'd like to get in here and get, but holy man, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get over there or not, because I don't really want to roll her down the hill, you know. And I was parked about here somewhere, reaching as far as I could, and that's all I could get there, so she, uh, she might have to stay. It's a bit scarier when you're on the tractor. I like to get down and get this crap out too, but all of a sudden it drops off here too, right? So I don't know. I don't know. I might be able to get actually right down here. Stop right about here and maybe reach down and to get that crap. Maybe that guy there and I can get down over there and get that. But, uh, oh, that was weird. Freaking little dragonfly down here. Hi, buddy. You just knew? Here he is, tubes. It was sort of buzzing right by my foot. Stupid camera. I keep forgetting that the lens is on this side of the, the phone thing, eh? So, oh, there he goes. He was ready. Yeah, so, geez, what other wildlife are we gonna find down here? Holy friggin' crap, eh? He's still up there being grumpy. Maybe I should find a bigger stick and try to flip him on his back, see what he does. Ha! <laughs> but, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so I got a bit more I want to clean up yet, you know, and uh, I'll get the, the wide bucket on there, and it's better for, for raking and scraping, right? But uh, yeah, let's go see what this guy's up to now. Okay, so I got a bit bigger stick. Let's see if I can flip him over here and see if that makes him hiss or something funny. Let's see how heavy he is here. Oh, we didn't like that much. There he goes. See how he gets back over here? That's pretty clever, eh? Stuff my beak into the ground. Are you gonna bite me now? Come on. Come on. Over you go. Oh, he's smart. He's a smarty. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? Leave me alone. Look at him walk, hey? Isn't that funny? See ya, buddy. I have seen bigger though, tubes. I have seen bigger. About, I've seen one about twice that size come out of here once out of the lake. Get big snapping turtle. He says, frig you, I'm out of here. But I seen a piece of metal down here. I wasn't quite sure what it was. Maybe there's a whole car here or something. Looks like a fender or something. I'd have to dig her out, I guess. It's kind of buried. The way it's rolled there, it looks like a 
fender roll or something, eh? So I don't know. Oh, geez, you never know who's throwing what over here, eh? There's freaking bottles there and screen and, oh, wow. Somebody thinks this is their dumping ground. Oh, well. Let's go have our McCafe. See you later, buddy. Sorry for taking you off or whatever. You know, way she goes. Friggin' rates tubes, we are all done except this set, but uh, this uh, person here apparently wanted to transfer it to someone else already, so I'm gonna wait until I plunk them in, I guess. But uh, look, I used up all my sods. I had a grave here that needed uh, filling in and stuff, so I uh, friggin' might as well use them for that. But uh, I better go over here and grab the hose. The other day, someone must have drove into this freaking tap and ripped it right off the pipe under the ground. I had to fix it. Apologize I didn't film that, but uh, it was sort of an emergency thing, eh? So we'll find the end here and uh, flick her on there. And uh, we'll just go over and give this a bit of water. You know, some water is good for it. Oh, come on, hose a little bit more. Freaking right. So we'll give her a good soaking. And uh, these guys should uh, sort of start rooting and taking off. So it should be good. She'll probably need topped up again, but uh, you know, should be good. So yeah, I'll just keep this uh, get this all watered up here, and uh, I'll maybe explain the tap of thing a bit more to you after we're done. Looking right. So I came back here, and uh, the water is just pissing down the road like big time flooding, eh? I'm like, what the frig? And I looked at the old tap, and the pipe goes down, and then at 90s into the there's a well, it was a about a three foot piece of stuff threaded in there and then it busted right off at the freaking 90 there like sheared it right off I'm like really you know I don't know how long I've been running for but there was a pretty good stream running down here and nobody came and told me nothing you know I'm out here all freaking day nobody said nothing like oh I just hit your tap or there's water everywhere or... so I finally find out about it and shut her all off and I dug a freaking hole about uh, oh five feet six feet deep maybe and uh, that's a like a 10 foot freaking uh, whatchamacallit or whatever it is or 8 foot I can't remember now but drove that in and then hammered her down with the bucket so she's good and solid now like you can you can refund her nothing eh so but uh, yeah I got her all fixed and I actually I moved it back up the hill a bit too so it's a little bit more off the road because it was like down in here so it was kind of in the corner here and I'm amazed it hadn't been hit before but anyways uh, we got her fixed and good to go and uh, just gotta put the sign back up so freaking what a mess eh but anyways, we're done our cornerstone, so i got to go put my book back in the office there. And uh, i got a few extras I might as well order too, but uh, maybe not right now. But uh, Buddy's all watered there, so hopefully he'll grow a bit. And uh, freaking right, so let's go take this off and uh, garbage. And uh, we'll go uh, take the trailer off and then see what's happening up at the garage. Well, Tube, sorry I haven't uh, checked in much today. Just been busy or a sprig, you know, and uh, a couple funerals full sizes coming up, so I've been digging them, and uh, you know, you guys have seen all that, so. But uh, I think the lens is dirty here. Hang on. There. That might be a little more better. But yeah, anyway, so just going back to get the other trailer. It's full of dirt and stuff, so. Stuff. And uh, yeah. I guess that's it for today. There's not much else going on. It's 4.30, I guess, now. The kids are at home and stuff, so grab some dinner. Tonight's homework night. Freaking Dairy Queen, here we come. And uh, kids like doing their, you know, stuff there and having a Sunday or something. So, yeah, so anyways, we'll uh, talk at you guys later, I guess, and uh, have a good freaking day, and uh, have a good freaking day. Oh, so here's the one I just did, and I uh, had to move a monument to get it out of the, out of the way here, that's where she was. So yeah, ready to rock for tomorrow, and the other one's up here, it's just a uh, cremation, but I just dug her with the machine while I was out here. There's a blade killer, didn't even see him fall off. Uh, did her with the machine, because they want to put in, uh, sorry for the shakiness, but I'm walking, eh? as you can see. So no no uh whatchamacallit on this iPhone thing here, so 
she's a bit shaky yes I know and anyways uh, yeah they're wanting to put in one of those little miniature vaults for these cremations and basically it's just like a uh, what do you call it a fiberglass box kind of thing you know so they're not right in the dirt but uh, there's a there it is there so that should give them lots of room lots of deep and yeah so we'll get rid of the dirt and I'll uh, show you up for, up the house here where I'm dumping this now got in our, in our area I've been taking it so let's uh, get up the house okay so I've been uh, sort of sneaking in beside the house here until we stop put her in bull low and uh, just sneak up through here you can see sort of where the trail is there's probably uh, eight or ten loads in here now today I did another full size for uh, Friday as well so uh, I'll show you where we're going with all this just take her easy here I don't want to wreck her grass because I am on my neighbor's side right now ours ends with these trees here so she's got a beautiful field here I don't want to really destroy it on her so but there's some dirt over there we've been dumping and a couple further back so there might be one two three four five six and then I brought seven eight the other day um, but I'm gonna maybe just back it in right there and dump it right beside that guy it's all low in there eh? so it's pretty cruddy it's all steered already and then uh, she'll come over Hard, hard, hard. Uh, whoa, Nelly, don't go any more than that. Now we'll get her out. Okay, I'm gonna flip the gate now. Friggin' right. Here we go. So let's just pull out here and see how we did. Okay, that didn't sound right. Let's see how much dirt we got there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So now I'll bring up the bigger tractor sometime and uh, you know smooth that all out, pack her down and stuff, and uh, we'll get her uh, a little bit better, and then we can push some more further back maybe. So that'll be uh, pretty freaking awesome. Trailers down. Let's get out of here. Well, I figured I might as well do her now, so let's just uh, give her another smooth here. that looks pretty good for now man that didn't go very far <laughs> kind of smooth those guys out a bit too but uh, I need a lot more but uh, yeah eventually we'll get her you know we'll get her get her going here and uh, get this whole area kind of leveled up more up to this height rate so uh, I don't know if the camera's picking that up but uh, uh, it's always wet and mosquitoey down in here right so it'd be nice to eliminate that and get rid of them friggin mosquitoes so but uh, there was a pretty big hole right there you know so we filled her in so friggin right but uh, anyhow, tubes, I am going to call her day now. I'm going to go inside and uh, download all this off the phone and stuff and then uh, slap her in the pinnacle there and, uh, and uh, see how she looks. Hopefully it's not too uh, screwed up, but uh, if it is, it is, and if it isn't, it isn't, I guess, so freaking stuff, eh? But anyways, uh, have a good day again, tubes, and we'll freaking talk to you again next time. So talk to you again next time. Good day, tubes. Bill's T-Max here. I'd love to give you a shout out on the freaking YouTube TV. So if you'd like to uh, send your uh, freaking letter to this address, bloop, bloop, and we'll get you uh, a nice shout out on the 
on the show and uh, just keep in mind we're gonna read this uh, stuff out everything except your personal addresses and stuff and uh, and uh, yeah so send her out and uh, Frig will get you on the show friggin right <laughs> <laughs>